Hi everyone, I am Dr. Rupa. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and on this channel we talk a little bit about eye health. We talk about strabismus, which is misaligned eyes, that's my area of specialty, and then my passion, which is eye makeup health. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you want to know if those fiber mascaras are safe for your eyes, keep watching. So I've gotten this question a lot and you guys know I love lashes, I love mascaras. I have quite literally, I'm a little embarrassed. All right, I'm gonna pull it out because we're all friends here. How many mascaras I have? Yeah, this many. So suffice to say I like mascaras and I'm always searching for the next best one that's going to make my lashes thick and full and beautiful. So I saw all of those ads for the um, fiber mascaras that are supposed to elongate and use different types of fibers to really just give you that look of lash extensions. And I wanted to investigate if that was actually safe for your eyes. So here's the situation. Those fiber mascaras can actually be a little bit dangerous for your eyes. There's a particular ingredient that you need to watch out for. You want to make sure that you don't buy any of the mascaras that have nylon 66. I'm not going to name names of mascara companies because I don't want to get into trouble, but I am going to link in the notes below of an article in one of our ophthalmology journals, one of our big time ophthalmology journals of a case report of a woman. So a case report is just like when we see a patient in the office and it's such an unusual finding that they decided to write it up and it was published in the journal. And the reason it was so unusual is because the woman was using this particular fiber mascara and you know, they reference it in the article and she actually got a couple of them embedded underneath the conjunctiva, which is the white of the eye. And even a few of them were just floating kind of in the tear film. So what's the big deal if that were to happen? So this woman was in her 50s and she'd been using this lash extension fiber mascara and she presented to the ophthalmologist. She was complaining of a lot of redness and pain, tearing. So when they examined her, they found several of the fibers in the eye and then some actually in the subconjunctival space. So what is that space? So the conjunctiva, we all think of it as white. It's conjunctivitis, that's pink eye, right? Well, it's not exactly white. The conjunctiva is actually the clear covering which overlies the white part of the eye. So underneath the clear covering is where they had gotten trapped. And these fibers are sharp. When you look at them under a microscope, they're extremely sharp. That's how they penetrated inside the eye. They weren't just floating in the tear film and like right here. No, they'd actually penetrated a layer of the eye. Six of them had penetrated into the eye. And the main issue, other than the fact that you've got now like a sharp object in the eye, is that these nylon fibers are coated with chemicals. The chemicals are propylene glycol, squalane, and tocopherol. I don't really know what those are, but they are chemicals that are not supposed to be in your eyes. That's it. So that's just a potential thing that can happen with these fiber mascaras. And I think a lot of people are unaware of that being a complication. So what happened to the woman you might ask? Well, her eye was in so much pain, she wouldn't actually, she couldn't tolerate removing those foreign bodies because that's actually what they are. They're foreign bodies. That's what we call them at this point, conjunctival foreign bodies. She, the ophthalmologist could not remove them in the exam room. So they just left them there. So this is only one case report, which means it's one patient that presented. I have personally not seen it in my practice, but I would be mindful that this is something that can happen because they can dislodge and penetrate inside the eye because they're so sharp. So if you are using a fiber mascara, stay away from the nylon 66 fibers because they are coated with chemicals and it can cause basically a foreign body reaction. Your eye can stay perpetually red if they aren't able to remove it. Likely they might have to take this particular woman to the operating room so they can numb her and just cut away the conjunctiva and then remove those fibers. But you just have to think if that's worth it or not. There's a million other mascaras on the market and I'm sure you can find one that's just as effective for you than one that might cause some harm to your eyes. So there you go. 
That's the skinny for fiber mascaras and whether or not they're safe. So let me know if there are other eye makeup topics that you are interested in. Drop them in the comments below and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and all of that stuff. My daughter's always reminding me to ask people to do that. So not going yet until you hit like, subscribe, follow along on this journey. All right, now I'll really see you soon.